This is code.org, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to grab text from the screen and put it back to the screen, how to grab text that the user enters and set it up, push it back out to the screen. So maybe you want to grab it, take a look at it if it's in your list, and put something back out on the screen. This is just focused, though, on getting text and putting it back onto the screen, user input, and then how to output it. So let's go ahead and dive in on how to work with user input and then output. This is code.org. Let's get going. So we want to get text from the user from the screen for our hackathon app, right? And that's what I'm going to focus on, just the grabbing of text. You want to build out the app yourself. If you get stuck on other parts, make sure to check out my other videos. First, I'm going to definitely need a text input because I want to get text from the user. I probably want to label as, oh, that's a button, but I'll want one of those two somewhere right here and a label. So I like to pick a theme. I'm going to go kind of quick because this is, well, you get the point. So maybe this will say, uh, we'll pretend I'm asking them for a year or maybe a name or any number, really. So maybe I'll say um, num label because I'll ask them for some number for my app. Maybe I'm looking for them to enter a year and I'll look for a year bigger than that. All right. And my text will be enter a year, something like this. Uh, you can mess with the font size and all that. I'm not, I think you'll need to, you'll know how to do that. I don't need to in this demo. You're smarter than me. You probably make it look better anyways. All right, text input. And I'm just going to say num input, or I could say year input since I know this is going to be year. I'm going to stick to num for now, num input. And this is the ID that we'll use later on to grab what the user is putting in here. And now this button, yeah, um, button one, that doesn't really make sense. I'm going to say num btn i guess or num button and again maybe i say year whatever um and i might put year i'm gonna put submit say cool all right so this is the basic layout to get info from the user now if i'm going to be grabbing stuff they're putting in i have a few decisions to make i could put a variable at the top which is what i'll do for this tutorial and i'm gonna have my variable be var um uh, i'm gonna stick with what i've been saying num input or yeah, num input, that makes sense to me. All right, and I'm gonna have it equal to nothing for now, okay? Which could cause an error, so you can also just like set it equal to zero if you would like. All right, num input, I'm gonna stick equal to nothing. So num input, and now how do I do this? Well, I wanna use an on event, and there's actually two ways to grab text input. So I'm gonna space mine out just so it's better to see, but on event, okay. So the first one I'll show you is on the event that the num button that I just created, you can always hover over to see the ID, is clicked, what do I want to do? Well, I'm going to use my variable here, num input, but I've already created it, so I don't need a var. So num input is going to be equal to what? This is where we can use our git and set. For a computer, git and set are used throughout JavaScript, C Sharp, uh, a lot of programming languages. Uh, for, well, I mean, all of them, to grab information and set information. To get text, to grab it from the screen that the user enters, we use git. You can grab that text and put it into a variable. The variable I put mine into is num input. So there we are, get text. All I have to tell the computer now is what? Well, this is called num input. So boom. So when they click the num button down here, what do I do? I say, okay, this variable num input, which I created here, make this variable equal to whatever is on the screen. Cool. Now that will be set up, but nothing's going to happen, right? Nee, 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 nee. Submit. We don't see it, right? Nothing. Nothing's going to appear. It's still saved here. I can put a watch on it. No man put. Boom. Let me watch it. Oh yeah, there it is right there. But we never see it. It's never showing up on the screen. We have to ask it to display on the screen. So I'll go ahead now and do design again. What I would usually use to put text onto a screen is a text area. And I'm just going to call this output area, I guess, and I'll have it default to nothing. So once they enter this, usually, for instance, if you have a list, you would want like an if statement and you would want to compare it to something, all of that type of stuff. And you should watch my other tutorials if you're interested in that. But just in terms of once you grab this from them, you could do something with it. But how do you make other stuff show up here? Well, I would use set text. So I'm going to set it set the text. I'm going to push it out there. I'm going to set up the text somewhere else. What text do I want to set up? Well, uh, the ID of this is output area. And now I have an option. I'll start with just deleting these quotes, which it fights you on sometimes. Sometimes I have to click and use the arrow keys to get behind them. And I'm going to put num input. So now what should happen here is 
1987. I'm old, leave me alone. Boom. And it will output it there. Okay. So that's one way to do this. Say I want to do something fancy. I could even like in quotes, guys, put the word year here and a space and then a plus. And now every time I do this, the word year, since it's in quotes, will get shoved out here literally plus whatever number they enter. Boom. Cool. All right. Now let's say I get real fancy. I'm going to do this too fast, but just to show you what I mean, I could I can still use this for a list for my app. So I'm going to say num list. And again, that's how you output it to the screen. I'm going to go way too fast and just pick something randomly. Uh, nope, not that one. I like the volcanoes, so I'm going to add that. And if you want more info about how to do a app and how to use the data, I have a tutorial on that with list. Okay, num list, and I'm going to say grab that data here. So, and this is a very simple example of how you could do that. I'm grabbing the volcanoes. I'm going to grab something there, elevation. And now I could use an if. So I can say if the user's input, num input, is less than the num list uh, zero, so that's the elevation zero, then what I will do, I'm going to get rid of this stuff. I'm just going to say cool. Okay. And so this is just kind of a way you can mess with around with it. So now let me check my num list real quick for this example. Preview that up. If you want more info, uh, elevation 600. If you want more info on making lists, please check out the other tutorials. So I need to be less than 600 because that's index zero. All right. So run 450 submit and it will show up. But if I'm more than that 600, which is that index zero, it doesn't. Pretty cool. And that's how you can get text to get it and set it to the screen. All right. Good going making that app. I hope it is awesome.